Hi, I'm Paul Block, third generation to make these style sharpeners. My dad and grandpa made the original sharpeners back in the 70s and 80s. It was a great sharpener, sold lots of them. And now I added a rubber grip to it and updated it. And I'm looking for um, dealers out there to help promote our product across the United States. They do sell quite well, but the big thing is you really need to demonstrate it because people do not know what they are. If you do a simple demonstration, you can sell lots of these, make lots of extra money on the weekend. If you like to travel, it's a great travel deal. Book yourself a show across the United States, go set up somewhere, sell a few, make your money, go home on Monday. Well, I'm going to show you what it takes to sell the block sharpener. If you want to get into these, first two things you're going to need is a serrated knife and a smooth blade knife. The reason you need a serrated knife is if you roll serrates in the middle of our sharpeners, we point out it will not hurt the teeth one bit. I've done Microtex, Spydercos, Benchmade, very expensive serrates that will not eat up the teeth. It'll take your serrated knife sharp as a razor blade. Oh, Ginsu's weren't supposed to go dull, they get super sharp. You need a serrated knife to do this demonstration. Um, you'll probably find one in your kitchen drawer even. Another good knife is a butcher knife or a fillet type knife. What you need here is, uh, so you can put it on the edge of the counter. These got little bumpers on the sharpeners, so they lock up on the edge of the counter. You spring it in there nice and tight. You want to point that out. When you spring it in there and draw through, the rods adjust so they pick up on the original bevel. Not tearing steel or changing angles. What they do is they hone. They line up that edge and put the original bevel back on any style blade. Now you get real expensive knives, you want to keep that original edge. Now this is where it'll cost you a little bit unless you already got a lot of hunting knives. You want to put knives out there that cost over a couple hundred dollars a piece. I got knives that are Randall's, that's a $600 knife. I show I do not damage the edge when I sharpen it. I got knives made by Cobb that cost $200 to show I don't damage the edge. And other knife makers I met around the country. And um, that's just to show it will not damage a good knife. They will get shaving sharp. Another thing you're gonna wanna point out in selling the block sharpener is for kitchen knives. They'll do any kind of kitchen knife you got. We do from very hard stainless steels. No problem, draw them through there. They will take a stainless steel, a sharp, well, way sharper than brand new even. You want to point out that they'll do your carving knives, get them super sharp, stuff like that in the kitchen. And um, ceramic coated knives, they'll follow them edges, get them sharp. Have a couple different serration patterns so they can see it does different serration patterns. And um, I even offer to double people's money back if you find a serrated knife that won't sharpen. I've done every possible kind. I know it sharpens any serrated knife, will not damage them. Now here's another big sales point what our sharpener is. Scissors and garden clippers, hedge clippers, stuff like that, they're all pretty much sharpened the same way. I find if I use one side, one pin, use a thumb guide on my sharpener, butt it up in your fingers, use one cutting rod and just follow that edge. What that does, it'll shine it up, breaks it down, makes it flat again turn them, you'll get a small burr in here, hold that nice and tight, push the burr off. What that does is squares the corners of them, and uh, a lot of people have trouble sharpening knives, they're always, I mean scissors, and they're always looking for something to sharpen their scissors. You can see I get them just as sharp as a knife. Um, a lot of people wonder, well, well, do a hard steel stainless? Well, I showed you it does stainless, but you can actually get away with a lot of garden tools, Thompson steel, long blades, machetes. These pins got a rock well over 69. Makes that pin in our sharpener way harder than any factory made knife. That's why I can do Kershaw, Buck, Case, Saw, and take them shaving sharp. The harder the steel, I'm finding the sharper I can get them. I heard for many years, oh you gotta try it on a lawnmower blade, Paul. They work great on lawnmower blades. I thought my customers were nuts. There ain't no way it's going to sharpen a lawnmower blade. Well, I was wrong. These rods, the way they flex so they pick up any edge, I pulled my old lawnmower blade off and start running it through there. 
It took me about five minutes. And I got them sharp as a knife. It's incredible. Machetes, hatchets, thistles. Run them through there. There's lots of ways to use this tool. It's very unique. You sh basically show people all the different stuff you can sharpen and um, that it does work. Explain how you're sharpening and you can sell lots of these. I do use a little bit of oil on the pins. Just a drop is all you need. If you think you got what it takes to sell my sharpener and uh, want to make a little extra money on the weekend, give us a call at theblocksharpener.com. You can find me. Phone number is on there. And um, we'll be happy to talk to you and set you up in your own market area wherever you live. Uh, once you establish your area and you know you're going to be selling them, we keep other dealers out of your area so nobody's uh, messing you up or stealing any of your business that you created. I'm looking for an army of people all across the United States. Uh, big stores say we're not popular enough for their shelf, but if you go to my website, you're going to know, just like I know, they're crazy. There is no place in the United States you can go where someone hasn't already used these, seen them, or know what they're about. They sell, they sell great, and you can make lots of extra money on the weekends. I've been making a living the last 15 years off them. That's all I do. And I know you can make a good living too in your local flea market, gun show, fishing show, sports shows, um, hometown get-togethers, stuff like that. Give us a call again at theblocksharpener.com and we'll be happy to talk to you about wholesale prices and what you need to become a representative of the block sharpener. And uh, pass the word on. We appreciate it. Christmas is coming. Lots of money to be made.